What's going on guys, this is Terzebo here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get smooth twixt or slow motion in After Effects and so let's just go ahead and get this tutorial started I already have a clip in After Effects and I'm just going to drag it onto new composition and you can see right here it's just a nice little quick scope and then a no scope following that and I will link the guys uh, channel in the description that's um, that this clip is from and so to use Twixter and After Effects, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on Enable Frame Blending for All Layers with the Frame Blend Switch set. So we're just going to click on that button right there, make sure your clip is selected, and then click on that. And then what we need to do is go to Layer, Frame Blending, and Pixel Motion. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add Twixter. So just go to Effect, RE Vision Plugins, and Twixter. And now we have our Twixter on here and if we go back to our project and look at our actual clip we can see that it says 59.94 FPS and so we're gonna come back to Twixter and change our input frame rate to 59.94 FPS and if you do not have 59.94 frames per second this is not going to work as well um, you really need that 59.94 at least because that's actually what's gonna give you the smooth slow motion and so what I'm going to be doing is adding the slow motion right here where he's scoping in and so I'm just going to click the stopwatch or click on effects, twixter and then output control and then click on the stopwatch next to speed and then I'm going to come up here to preview and click on next frame and then I'm going to come down here and set the speed to about 3 and twixter is always never going to be perfect there's always going to be at least that little bit of ghosting and um, you really you're, it just depends on the clip that you're using you're just gonna have to experiment with the clip that you're using and change up the speed and just see what looks good on that specific clip and so on this clip three looks pretty good and so I'm just gonna use three and then I'm gonna go forward a little bit and make another keyframe at three by clicking this keyframe button right here and then I'm gonna go to the next frame and Put the speed all the way back up to 100%. So now, if we scrub through this, you can see that it goes in slow motion and then it goes back to full speed. But we can see that our clip is cut off. It's not the full length that we wanted it to be in the first place. And so, what we need to do is go to Layer Time Enable Time Remapping, and then what we can do now is actually drag our clip and make it longer but if you see our composition isn't long enough to make our clip longer so if we come up here and go to composition settings and I'm just gonna make the duration about 10 minutes and 20 seconds and then hit OK and then if we come back out we can see that we can just drag this and so now our clip goes all the way to the very end of the clip where it originally was and so a lot of you a lot of you guys have been telling me that like after you use Twixter that the clip doesn't play all the way through so that's how you fix that and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, if you guys have any tutorial suggestions feel free to comment below and like I said you're always gonna have a little bit of problem with Twixter it's never gonna be perfect but just experiment guys you'll get it you'll get it pretty good if you keep practicing and so just mess around with the speed and another thing is make sure you don't put it on a part of the clip where there's a lot of motion um, as an example like if he was spinning or something like that you'd never want to put it on where he's spinning like you can see right here pretty much the only thing moving is the actual scope and so that's why it actually looks pretty good right there and so guys I'm gonna go ahead and render this out and put it at the end of the video um, if you haven't already, remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Darezebo, guys. See you later.